Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. Today I'm here with another comparison video, and we're comparing the 2021 upcoming White Sox team against the 2021 Seattle Mariners. Now, the reason I'm doing the Mariners right now, not a very popular team, or maybe they are, Leave it in the comments if you're if you're a uh, Seattle Mariners fan. But the reason I'm the big reason I'm doing them right now is that they are the second team we play. We open against the Angels and then we play the Mariners, right one right after the other. We don't even play a Central Division team before we play two Western Division teams. So that's why they are being done now so that if we have to go into April with these comparisons, I've already done the Mariners. So um, let's dive right into it. Now, if you've seen the previous videos, you know that the, uh, the MO for me is I go over the White Sox. I recap the White Sox really quickly. I've done them in every video. And then I go on to the other team that I'm comparing them to. And so with the White Sox last year, they were 35 and 25. We tied for second place in the Central Division, but we're technically third because we were tied with the Indians and we had a worse record against the Indians during the season than they had against us. So that made us the de facto third place team. We made the playoffs. We lost to Oakland in round one. We won game one, but we lost the last to two games of that series. So uh, going to the White Sox lineup. White Sox. We last year the White Sox hit 261, which was second in batting average, and we also had 96 home runs, which was first in the major leagues. The lineup for the upcoming year will probably look something like Tim Anderson at short, Adam Eaton slash um, Adam Engel in right field, depending on whether there's a righty or a lefty on the mound, Nick Madrigal at second, Yasmani Grandal at catcher, Jose Abreu at first base. Last year he had 19 home runs and a 370 on base percentage. Eloy Jimenez in left, Yoan Moncada at third base, Lewis Robert in center field, Lewis Robert last year, rookie year, he only hit 251, but that's not too bad, but he was an excellent defensive center fielder. And then uh, Lurie Garcia at DH slash um, utility guy, um, and maybe uh, also left field depending on whether they want to play Jimenez in left or have Jimenez be the DH, have Lurie Garcia in left or have Lurie Garcia be the DH. Again, that's going to be a decision for a Mr. Tony La Russa. And really even this lineup is subject to change pending what Tony La Russa actually thinks it should be. So then you got the rotation of Lance Lynn, who we recently acquired for the rotation. Uh, um, Lucas Giolito, Dallas Keuchel, Dylan Cease, Michael Kopech possibly, or maybe Michael Kopech later in the season. We'll see how it goes with Kopech because he didn't pitch last year at all. And then um, Ronaldo Lopez I listed as part of the rotation, partly because of the question marks with uh, Kopech, but also partly because Whoever really knows, I mean, you do get injuries throughout the year, and Ronaldo Lopez would be a prime candidate to be a yo-yo guy to go between the, um, the bullpen and the starting rotation. The bullpen shapes up pretty good. We've got, um, we've got uh, Liam Hendricks, who we recently acquired also. Uh, um, Adam, or Aaron Bummer. Cody Hewer, Evan Marshall, uh, Jimmy Cordero, Jace Fry, the lefty out there in the bullpen, and uh, Garrett Crotchet, who can throw over 100 miles per hour. We saw a little bit of him last year, 
Um, but injuries um, derailed his season early. See if he's ready to come back in 2021. Hopefully he is. And then you got the bench, which is uh, Adam Engel. Uh, when he's not DHing, it'll be Adam Engel. Um, Danny Mendick, Zach Collins, who is the backup catcher. That's a weak spot for us. That's a spot I'm a little worried about, but, you know, you can work on that during the year. Um, Nicky Delmonico, Mick Rodolfo, and our new addition is Nick Williams, who we recently signed. I don't know if Nick Williams will make the roster. We'll have to see. Again, that is a decision for Tony La Russa to make, but we'll see. But we do have him, so... He could either be down in Charlotte um, or whatever minor league teams survived for the White Sox after the cut down by Major League Baseball of minor, minor league teams. Or he may actually make the roster and be a backup outfielder. Most recently, I believe, he was on the Phillies. Um, he had a good rookie year. He had a good first year. But after that, it was kind of downhill. So now we, we go to the Mariners. The Mariners last year were 27 and 32. And they were, I believe, last place in the West, in the AL West. You can't handle the truth! They, uh, their their um, team batting was 226, which was second to last in the American League. And they only had 60 homers, which was also second to last in the American League. You're not going to get a lot of traction with statistics like that. So hopefully you can see the uh, the writing up here again in green, green and blue, kind of, you know, the main colors that I could get for the Mariners. Uh, the lineup is going to, uh, it's going to uh, come out something probably like J.P. Crawford, the shortstop, leading off. Dylan Moore at second base. Dylan Moore had a breakout season last year. The year before, his rookie year, he really wasn't that impressive. But last year, he was quite impressive. I think he hit in the 290s um, and had a little power. So he'll be the, he was probably a new discovery that the uh, Mariners had. Because up until then, they were going with Shed Long at second. Um, Kyle Lewis in center field. Kyle Seeger, the Kyles. Kyle Seeger at third base. Mitch Haniger in right. He suffered a uh, kind of an embarrassing injury last year. So we'll see if he can bounce back from that. Um, I think it was last year. Uh, Jose Marmolos Dash Diaz. Marmolos Diaz in left field. I've never heard of that guy. Not at all. But Roto Champ says he's going to be in the lineup. Ty France at DH, I have heard of. Evan White is one of their uh, up-and-coming uh, first base prospects, so we'll see how he does this year. I imagine he probably did play last year. Don't remember how he did, but uh, not very much was memorable about the Mariners from last year. And then Luis Torrens at catcher. Their rotation will be Marco Gonzalez. Now, Marco Gonzalez has been with the team several years. He's a good, reliable, sturdy pitcher. I mean, the guy is, is good. Uh, then you say, you say Kikuchi, who they got from Japan, he pitched for them last year, but not impressively. Not at all. So we're going to have to see if he can uh, get acclimated to American baseball. Then you got Justice Sheffield who is one of their um, one of their prospect type guys, probably pitched last year. He was slated to pitch last year. And if you go back and you look at my Mariners comparison video from last year, which I will have in the end card or the uh, end screen, you will see if that happened. Then uh, you got Justin Dunn and Nick Marjavicious as the fifth starter. I don't know a lot of these guys. I don't, I'm not familiar with Justin Dunn. I do know that last year the Mariners were 12th in the American League in Team ERA with a 503 earned run average. Now you couple that with being second to last offensively and it's not a good combination for them. No. So the bullpen is going to be Matt McGill. Now, there's a lot of prospects here 
and I don't mean prospects in the sense of, you know, guys that haven't played Major League Baseball yet. I mean prospects as in the sense of uh, this guy could make it, maybe this guy doesn't make it, you know, prospects for the bullpen. But anyway, Matt McGill, uh, who they've had, and he is their, he's one of their closers. Kendall Graveman, who has bounced around the Major Leagues for a couple of years. Rafael Montero. Joey Gerber, Johan Ramirez, Casey Sadler, I do remember Casey Sadler, Brian Shaw, um, Keenan Middleton, and, um, and Eric Swanson, who I had listed on the starting rotation because, again, you're going to get um, injuries. Uh, Roto Champ has Eric Swanson listed as a relief pitcher, but he did start, he has started, and you're going to have injuries in your rotation, and you also have a questionable rotation as it is right here. So I would expect to see Eric Swanson actually get some starts next year. But if there's any Mariners fans out there that can shed some light on that for me, leave it in the comments. And uh, then you got Paul Seawald and Brendan Bran Brennan. Brandon, Brandon Brennan. That's a, that's a tongue twister right there. And Brandon Brennan is pretty good. Seawald, I've heard of. Um, I'm not really sure how good or reliable the, the man is. But the fact that they have a lot of guys up here listed for their potential bullpen tells you that um, they don't have a great deal of confidence in a lot of these guys. So, I mean, because like with the White Sox bullpen, if you look on Roto Champ, they've got pretty much that's the bullpen so uh let's see what else we got to do did we do the bench no we did not do the bench and the bench is going to be shed long who started last year as their second baseman Bra braden bishop sam haggerty jake fraley tom murphy is their backup catcher he had a kind of a breakout season two years ago but he didn't play last year in the 60 game abbreviated season Sam Travis, and Carlos Gonzalez. Carlos Gonzalez, of if you remember all the way back to the Rockies days when he was really good. And now, potentially he isn't. Because not only is he on the Mariners now, but he's on the Mariners bench. So that's how they, uh, that's how they line up. I mean, frankly, we play them uh, like the second team they're the second team we play in april and um i expect with three games i mean i think we could sweep them the only thing is if we happen to run into marco gonzalez maybe we have a tough time that game he is a good pitcher but really uh the mariners are a team that we should really dispatch because uh, like i said in previous videos you have to beat the teams that you have to beat and um, you got to beat up on them good. So we got to take at least two out of three in that first series. Hopefully even sweep them. So we will see how that goes. But um, that's what I'm that's what I'm looking for the White Sox to do. So anyway, for future uh, videos that I'm going to do this way, I'll do the like you know horizontal view. This one didn't work out quite as good as I wanted it to, but hopefully you were able to see everybody. And not only that, I was reading everybody's names off. So anyway, that's the Mariners. That's how they line up. And I think we will have a relatively easy time with the Mariners. I mean, they do have some guys in their lineup that could present a bit of a problem. Uh, Seager's always a good hitter. Mitch Hanniger has the potential to be a very good hitter. Dylan Moore was very good uh, last year offensively so we'll see Evan White is one of their their high you know their highly touted prospects so if he ever comes around um, and lives up to the uh, hype you know and I don't know what he did last year but he's still got to do it consistently anyway but we'll see I mean you know the lineup is definitely um, you and really second to last last year you would think no it's not but really it looks to me on paper like their lineup is the thing that they they've got to hang their hat most on like even jp crawford 
when he first came up with the Phillies, was a highly touted prospect and has the potential to play a lot better than he's played lately. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Leave me a like. If you're watching this video and you haven't subscribed to the channel, subscribe to the channel it doesn't cost you anything ring the bell so that you know when I put up more videos if you're a fan of a team in the American League or a fan of a team in the NL Central you'll want to ring the bell because I am going to do a comparison video of the White Sox to the Mariners only done five previous ones I've done the uh, Texas Rangers I've done uh, Detroit I've done the Kansas City Royals I've done the Cubs and I've done the Angels. So if you're a fan of one of those teams, go back and check out that video. This is the sixth one versus the Mariners. And we will have more coming up in the future. I hope to get all of the White Sox comparing to the teams that they will play in 2021. I hope to get that entire series in before April 1st, which is opening day. But we'll see. I'm, I'm going to try. It's a tough schedule. Not Really, it's actually not tough now because I've started out on a blistering pace. But hopefully to get, you know, I'm hoping to get those all in. But anyway, I am just rambling on now. So that's it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.